In this triad exercise, we're looking at the most convenient method to graph a given line. It depends on the form that it's in. Also bear in mind, uh, disclaimer, you can use whatever method it is that you want to graph the lines, unless you're specifically asked to graph it in a specific way. Uh, you should know, however, the most convenient way. Now that said, what method you choose is somewhat of a matter of personal preference. Uh, I personally always like putting it in slope intercept form. That may not be the most convenient way, but that's what I like to do. If you're asked to just graph a line, it's up to you to choose whatever method you, you want to use, but it's also important that you know every method to use. One, in case you're asked, and two, uh, in case you want to check what you've done. So with part A, we're given the equation 3x plus 2y equals 12. Well, that's in the form ax plus by equals c. When it's in this standard form, the, the most convenient way to graph it is use intercepts or find the intercepts and plot one other point. In other words, plug in any value for either x or y and then solve for the other variable. Now again, you don't have to use this most convenient method if you're asked to just graph a line. It's up to you how to do it unless you're specifically told to do it a certain way. But the most convenient way, anytime we're in the form ax plus by equals c, will be to find the intercepts and plot another point. Part B, we're given y equals 4. Well, remember, anytime we have y equals b, where b is any real number, that means it's a horizontal line. So the most convenient way to graph this is just to recognize y equals 4, we would go to y equals 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and we'd graph a line there. That's the most convenient way to graph that. Now with part C, we're given y equals 1 fifth x minus 4. Well, this is in the form y equals mx plus b, if we just change the minus 4 to plus a negative. Since it's in slope-intercept form, the most convenient method would be to graph the line by using slope and the y-intercept. So in other words, graph 0b, then use rise over run. Similar to if we were given the slope and a point. We'd start at that point and then use the slope to determine the next point. So x equals negative 7. Well this is similar to part b. We have when x equals b where b is any real number. It's a vertical line at x equals b. So in other words, we just recognize that with x equals negative 7, we'd be going to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, negative 7, and then we would have a vertical line at x equals negative 7. So again, most convenient methods, if we have standard form ax plus by equals c, we'd want to find the intercepts and plot one other point. If we have a vertical or horizontal line, the easiest way is just to recognize it's a vertical or horizontal line at the given value. And if we have it in slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, we'll use the slope and the y-intercept. In other words, we'll graph the y-intercept and then use rise over run to determine another point. 